A-I-T-A for calling my co-worker work sister after she called me work husband in front of everyone? I, 34M, work in a small office and we have about 30 people working here. Mary, 35F, is one of my co-workers. We have been working together for six years now. We have six people in our department, and we have to frequently travel across the state as our work involves overseeing government projects. We always travel in a group of two. Although my travel partner changes based on the project, Mary and I are generally put on similar projects and enjoy each other's company. My wife also likes Mary. Overall, we have a very healthy work relationship. On to the incident. Yesterday, we had a happy hour in our office, and we were all drinking after work hours and chatting. It was a group of around 10 people that stayed back. Mary was blabbering about how we both have been traveling together so much in the last year. She was roasting me for my habits while traveling like always forgetting stuff in my hotel room, being sweaty and stinky when I join her for breakfast in mornings, because I go to hotel gym. Everyone was laughing and she was making it sound how unbearable I was to tag along, all in good fun. I also told some funny and sweet stories about her and agreed with her saying that I can be difficult to be with sometimes. Mary came to me and hugged me tightly and told me that she loves me, and I am her work husband. It was all innocent on surface, but she might have been a bit drunk and just didn't let go of her tight hug. Also, I hate that phrase as I do have a wife that I promise to be with forever, and not just in non-working hours. After a few seconds, I started becoming uncomfortable and also saw few people staring at us. So, to defuse the situation, I took her hands off my shoulder and told her, she was my work sister and that is why I love to annoy her so much. That seemed to have upset Mary and she left and went back to her desk and was sobbing silently. I tried to apologize to her, but she told me how embarrassing the whole situation was. She said that she just meant work husband in platonic way, but me calling her work sister made her sound like a creep in front of the whole office. She was also angry that I aggressively removed her hands from my shoulders while hugging. I tried to reason with her that I do not like the work husband phrase and also people gave dirty looks when she said it. So, I was just trying to make sure people do not take her words in the wrong way. We talked for a few minutes afterwards and Mary calmed down. She hugged me again and left. I felt really guilty afterwards because I can see Mary's point. I made her sound like a creep by implying that she meant something inappropriate when she called me her work husband. However, I was a bit uncomfortable in that situation and just did not want people to call us that, or assume something wrong. Am I the AH for calling Mary my work sister? I am sitting in my office writing this and a bit worried if I embarrassed Mary in front of everyone. Comment. I think you meant to ask in your last sentence if you're the AH for calling her your work sister, not work wife. Regardless, no. Your NTA. All too often, work spouses end up being inappropriately involved and you were trying to head off any rumors. Good on you. I think work sister is a much better term. OP, thanks for catching the typo. I am too nervous this morning to face her. Comment. You didn't do anything wrong. NTA. To my mind, she raises a red flag by being so upset about it. It meant more to her than it did to you. You may need to set a boundary of not traveling with her. Comment. It sounded like she may be in love with OP, she reacted as if he friendzoned her. Comment. NTA though you are being far too generous. The reason why she jumped straight to thinking you were calling her a creep, because she knows what she was doing was inappropriate, work husband, is considered widely inappropriate now. She knows this. You responded correctly. You owe your actual wife loyalty. Mary needs to back off and act more of a professional. Update. As I was sitting in office the next day, I knew things would be a bit awkward between Mary and me. Mary ignored me the whole morning. Initially, I was planning to go and apologize to her, but after the post, I decided that I do not need to do that as I should be the one who was offended. Everyone in the office could see that we were acting weird, and I heard some people gossiping about us. One of the ladies also came to me and asked me if I want to talk about Mary and me. Around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, I was sitting in my office working. Mary came into my office and closed the door behind her. She was angry at me and started saying that I need to stop being an asshole and stop ignoring her. I told her to sit and to talk about what is going on. She told me that she feels humiliated, and everyone has been starting at her the whole morning because of what I did. 
I also stood my ground and told her that I was okay with her making fun of me but calling me her work husband and hugging me in front of everyone for a long time made the situation awkward. She told me to get over myself and that I should know exactly what she meant. Mary said that I made a big deal of what was supposed to be a joke and made it awkward for everyone. She said calling someone work husband is a normal thing and just means that she knows me intimately like a spouse would. She said that because we spend so much time traveling together, she knows all the intimate details of how I behave outside work. I stopped her and told her that I felt offended by the term, work husband, because I have a wife and I do not want people to use that term to describe our relationship. I told her that she would not understand as she is single, but as a married man, I really do not want anyone to describe me she as a husband I'm again misinterpreting what she was saying. She felt that as we have known each other more time than I have been married, she knows me more intimately than even my wife, I have no idea why she feels that way, and I also behave like her husband when we travel together. She went on about how we go out to dinners together after work, how I always insist on having breakfast together in morning, to plan our actions of the day, and I walk around in my underwear, referring to my gym shorts, around her in mornings. She also talked about how we spend hours talking to each other during road trips and how I am the only man she can trust with any secret in her life. She said that I am the definition of work husband, and I am just in denial. I was a bit angry at this point. I told her that I do all that because I consider her my friend and she is delusional if she feels she knows me more intimately than my wife. I told her I do not want to hear that term again and it is extremely disrespectful to my marriage. Only one woman gets to call me her husband and that is my wife. Moreover, if my actions are giving her such ideas, maybe we need to stop being friends. She became apologetic afterwards and told me that she did not mean to disrespect my wife, and it was not her intention. She apologized to me and told me to just let it go. She said that she loves traveling with me and she does not want anything to change between us. She again said that I am misinterpreting her statement and just wants to move on. She came to hug me again, but I just told her it was okay and stepped back. I also talked to my wife about the incident that night. As expected, my wife was angry at Mary and told me that she hates the term work husband. She asked me if Mary has ever flirted with me during our trips or has a crush on me. I truthfully told her that I really have not felt that way and she may have just said that because she was a bit drunk and is now being stubborn about it. My wife said that she feels a bit uncomfortable about Mary now and says that it's strike one for Mary and I need to try and put more distance between us while traveling. If she ever repeat the same behavior again, I should report her to HR. I promised my wife that I would try to reduce my interactions with Mary outside work hours and be more guarded around her. Update. Thanks everyone for the comments and explaining the urgency of the situation. I discussed it with my wife and have set up meetings with my manager and HR today. I plan to not file a complaint, but document what happened last week and why it made me uncomfortable. I do not have any upcoming travels this week due to holidays but have to travel next Tuesday with her to a work site. I will discuss with my manager on what my options are. However, I feel a little distance between Mary and me for some time would be the right solution for now. Comment. NTA. I agree you should go to HR so they're aware of the situation. I would also suggest no more business trips with her, if possible. The fact that she claims to know you more intimately than your wife is not only delusional and disrespectful, it's concerning. She's only beginning to show her crazy side. Also she said that you walk around in your underwear. Comment. Mary's description of your relationship sounds really clingy and dependent, she has created a narrative in her head about your connection, the, the only man she can trust with any secret in her life, that's not a work husband, whatever that means. You better keep your interactions register in public, this can bite you in the butt very fast. Comment. Nta. I agree with your wife that you should report this to HR just to CYA. Comment. Agreed. It's obvious your coworker is up for something else. Also to avoid arguments between you and your wife regarding this one, listen to her and report your coworker to the HR. Update. I wrote a while ago regarding my coworker friend, Mary, being upset with me for calling her my work sister when she called me her work husband in front of everyone. I'm sorry to leave everyone hanging, but the next few weeks were busy, and the issue was eventually resolved. Thanks to everyone for the comments, they really helped me when I talked to my manager about the situation. However, the last week has been crazy, so I wanted to get some opinions on what I should do next. After my last post, my wife and I were no longer comfortable with Mary's behavior. Although a part of me thought I was overreacting and that it was just part of Mary's personality, 
I felt the need to protect myself. I requested a meeting with my manager and HR to document my side of the story. I wrote down everything and told them about the incident at the party, as well as Mary coming into my office and the comments she made. I made it clear that while I did not want them to take action against her, I wanted to emphasize that her behavior made me uncomfortable, especially her comments about knowing me better than my wife and remarks about my shorts. My manager had already heard about the incident at the happy hour, as everyone in the office was talking about it. He told me he would try to shake up the travel schedule to minimize our travel together. The issue was that only four people in our company generally work on off-site audits, and the other two co-workers did not want to split up because they claimed they worked well together. As a result, I continued traveling with Mary for the next couple of weeks, but it was awkward, and I kept my distance. My manager then called Mary and me to his office and informed us that he was planning to train a new auditor, Carolina, 26F, and set up a schedule where she would travel with me for one week and then with Mary the following week. We were asked to train her. I liked this arrangement because it meant I no longer had to travel with Mary. Carolina turned out sure to be a great too comfortable buddy. with her. I always dressed professionally when we went for breakfasts, avoided late night drinks, and maintained healthy boundaries. Things were great until last week. Last Tuesday, I could feel everyone staring at me when I entered the office, and I was immediately called to a meeting with my manager and HR. HR asked if I had anything to report regarding Carolina and if she had made any advances toward me during our work trips. I told them no, that Carolina had been very professional the entire time. I asked why I was being interrogated, and they told me they couldn't disclose any further details, but that Carolina was being investigated by HR for inappropriate conduct. I left the meeting, and Mary came to my office, asking what had happened. She mentioned that she was also told Carolina would no longer be traveling with us and that we were asked to travel together again. I told her I had no idea what was going on. I messaged Carolina to see if she was okay and if she needed to talk. She asked if she could come to my office, and I agreed. Carolina explained that someone anonymously sent messages to her boyfriend, posing as someone from the office over the weekend. The message included screenshots of Carolina sending some inappropriate pictures she had taken in her hotel rooms during our travels, and flirtatious messages. This person claimed to her boyfriend that Carolina was trying to cheat with him at work, and he was just trying to warn them. Her boyfriend went crazy after seeing the pictures, ghosted her, and then sent the messages to HR as revenge. Carolina was in tears, telling me that she had only taken those pictures for her boyfriend and had no idea how they got leaked or how those messages even existed. Her boyfriend was furious because he also received the exact pictures from Carolina and knew they weren't fake. I consoled Carolina, but she's in deep trouble, as our workplace takes such things very seriously, because we work on government contracts, and I'm sure everyone suspects I am the anonymous messenger. I was told that the matter would be investigated, and Mary and I would be working together on the project again. My manager said there was nothing he could do and also mentioned that they might go through my emails and messages on my company phone as part of the investigation into Carolina. Mary seems very happy about the whole situation and keeps talking about how excited she is to revisit the restaurants and bars we used to frequent during off-site trips. She also keeps referring to Carolina as that pervert. The whole thing is just crazy. My wife, of course, believes that I would never do anything inappropriate with Carolina and that I wasn't the anonymous messenger. However, her conspiracy theory is that Mary, who was also traveling with Carolina, may have unlocked her phone and accessed the photos. It feels far-fetched, but the fact is, I'm not thrilled about traveling with Mary again. I don't think I have any other recourse to get off this project except leaving the job, which isn't possible at this time. I know many of you work in HR, and I would appreciate any advice on what I can do next. Comment. It was totally Mary. That's both terrifying and so so creepy. I feel really bad for Carolina. I do not work in HR but I would absolutely report again to your manager what Mary has been saying regarding the trips and her turn of phrase about Carolina as the situation continues. Write down her phrases and comments with dates and time stamps. You need to set very hard walls with Mary. Only ever contact her on your work phone and ensure you are not alone together unless it's in a very public place, preferably with cameras. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this, but I'm really glad you and your wife's relationship has not been affected by it. Stay strong. You did nothing wrong here. Comment. Yeah there's something about Mary. That's off. Community. However, her conspiracy theory is that Mary, who was also traveling with Carolina, may have unlocked her phone and accessed the photos. 
Glad to know your wife has a functional brain out of everyone involved. It feels far-fetched. It really doesn't. There's two options. One, Carolina sent the messages to her BF from a burner account. Two, Mary hacked her phone. As only you and Mary have traveled with her and it wasn't you, then which of the two options make the most sense? Does Mary have a pin or code on her phone? Is she protective about hiding it? Most aren't. If you leave your phone to go to the toilet someone can go into Chrome settings and copy your user slash pass for your email, photos etc. and access them anytime.